Peace to the chat. Peace to the family. We are live now. We about to get it in. Shout out to everybody who's in the chat so far. Make sure you hit that like button. Um, I don't, you know, I, I, I prepared a commercial and I don't have it queued. Wow. Okay, so no commercial today. We're going to get right into the family. Shout out to everybody in the family. Want to welcome back to the platform. Yes. Our psych the community psychic medium, Mama <laughs> Ella. Welcome back, Mama Ella. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Brother Rich. Thank you for having me on the platform once again. I'm honored to come back in these times. <laughs> indeed, indeed. You got a lot of people that support you in the chat, I see. They're giving you shout outs and all that. Team you Ella, be... Team that's... Ella's in the building. <laughs> that, that's the sign that you're good at what you do. You already know. You already yeah. know. <laughs> Indeed. So, yeah. so I, I was I was having a conversation with you um, yesterday about uh, being a medium, and um, I would just talk to you about you know just being on YouTube and looking at all the psychic mediums. It's like such a a, a popular um, hashtag or title on YouTube. So many psychic mediums. So I said I got to reach out to Mama Ella, get her back on here and really see what's up with people who are psychic mediums and how this whole thing works. A lot of people want to know how spiritual communication works with people who have moved on to another realm. A lot of people want to get in touch with they they loved ones who left. So that's yeah. what are we that's what we're here for today. Uh first I want to start I want to ask you how was your eclipse experience? Start out like that before we get started. <laughs> oh man all right so let's let's talk about this eclipse experience step by step right, right. so before right. the eclipse went down you know i'm listening to different people speaking about the eclipse and giving their um you know feedback on you know what to do and what not to do so i'm like all right whatever you know i'm taking it all in because I, i'm from the bobby hammond era where if you believe in their reality, then their reality becomes your reality. So just stick to what you know, right? And so I, um, you know, recently was on King Simon's platform and he posed a question. Oh, what do you guys feel for the, um, the solar eclipse and things of that nature? And I was just like, well, listen, at the end of the day, I feel like this upcoming solar eclipse is nothing but messages that you know there's lots of planetary shifts and messages that the people need to know or to see you know i don't feel like the plant the solar eclipse was any different than pluto being in um in aquarius all of these planetary alignments are basically just messages to us to alert us on you know what to come so that was my stand on it like ah, oh, it's not that serious or whatever um it's just messages or whatnot so then on thursday y'all already know that 4.8 earthquake hit new york city hit jersey hit philly and i think washington or whatnot so after the 4.8 earthquake hit these cities i was like oh hell i was like oh hell nah i'm like nah this shit is serious this is just not a message like this is some kaboom type of thing and so i started feeling like a little like i was on edge i was like nah you know what probably me and my boys we need to stay home you know what i mean like to stay away from the energy of the people that might wild out because the eclipse is in the air so like let me just chill you know let me just stay home so then I'm looking through my emails and I remember that I had a very important um, uh, appointment that I had to make in Brooklyn, right? And this is something that I, I truly could not miss. So I go, I'm like, damn, what was that day again? Let me go back and check or whatnot. So I see, I checked the email. So I see that the appointment is on the solar eclipse mind you I already done said it in my mind that i was staying home yeah probably we should stay home probably we should you know what i'm saying not be involved with all of this so once that once i noticed that the appointment was on the solar eclipse i'm like yo fuck it i gotta go man i tell you when i went i was really really on edge to go outside i had like 
my son's covered, you know what I mean? All of this stuff. But then as I was walking to the train station, brothers and sisters, on some real shit, like I seen everybody just enjoying their day, so happy that the solar eclipse was coming. And here I am on edge. You get what I'm saying? Like I was so scared. So I said, look at the reality that you are perceiving for yourself. You're not even enjoying this day. You are not even embracing that there is going to be a change only because you heard that to stay in the house. But not only that, I was scared off the, or I was a little alerted off the, um, you know, the earthquake. So I went to my event, you know what I mean? The sun was, the sun was sunning, you know what I mean? It kind of like put my son in a trance. He got a little sleepy off that. But then when I came back, I seen my neighbors outside and they had them glasses. Yo, let me get them glasses. Let me see what this is about. And I witnessed the solar eclipse. I was scared to come out. When I came back, everybody was outside witnessing this beautiful, magnificent, you know, event that ain't going to happen again to thousands or hundreds of years from now. You know what I mean? And um, I'm happy that I followed my spirit and I'm happy that my event was that day because if my you know appointment wasn't on that day i would be in the house scared or like nah just we gonna chill you know what i mean and guess what king simon we was on hank's platform king simon said that sarnetta was like all the black people in the house hiding while white folks outside enjoying the motherfucking event You, your mic, your mic. Yeah, my fault. Yeah, yeah I seen, I seen, yeah, I seen the video on Sarnetta channel. I, I seen it. Was, you saw, you saw when he was, said that. It was funny. It was funny. Yeah. Like, yeah. like honestly, mentally, you know what I'm saying. And I, I remember Bobby Hemmett. You know, he always, he's one of the videos that he said he was like, listen, if everybody mm -hmm. is scared to go outside or whatever, or if you believe that. In a sense, he was saying, like, if there's a fire outside, right, mm -hmm. and you believe cold hardly that there's a fire outside, mind you, the fire may not even outside. People might just be like, yo, it's a fire outside. It's a fire outside. But you believe what other people are saying. You might start seeing fires and shit, and the fire is not even outside. It's an illusion. No facts. That's facts. That's facts. And yeah, so my, you know, feedback of that is that we need to start to you know, trust ourselves. We right. need to start to trust our gut feeling. We mm -hmm. need to stop being afraid mm -hmm. of like, oh, the eclipse. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this plane, oh, Mercury retrograde. Like niggas is still scared of Mer Mercury retrograde. Mm. Like we still on edge about Mercury being in, in retrograde for real. Mm. After Corona, we should have, like, our senses or our spirituality should have heightened mm -hmm. being in a house, yeah. you know, doing the shadow work. You ain't got to go out the nine to five, hustle and bustle. You in the house, you, you hibernating. Oh, yeah. Most yeah. people didn't even go back to work. They created jobs. They got in touch with themselves. So I'm saying after that event, we still scared. Mm. Yeah, it was a very interesting event. Um, and I hope we all could learn or right. gain something from our fears or from whatever experience we had from that event. So, yeah, and I'm glad you it was able to share that experience because you told me about it. And I was like, yeah, I definitely wanted the people to hear about your experience because it could be a learning lesson for um, right. for all of us. I want to talk to you now uh, to start the topic of the show in terms of spiritual communication. Uh, now, before we start, um, tell the people exactly because I tell the people about yourself if this is the first time them hearing about you in terms of oh. what it is exactly you do. Like you communicate with loved ones that have passed on. What exactly? That, how do you have this communication with this with this people in this other realm, the spirits in other realm? Okay, so. Greetings, everyone. Uh, my name is Magella, uh, publicly known as Mama Ella, um, the psychic medium. And I'm also a student of Dr. Africa and Dr. Sabi. 
Um, I'm born to a, I don't know if you know, my father's Congolese. My yeah, father's Congolese and my mother is Haitian. Mm. And how I came about this is, is through the bloodline. Within my mother's bloodline, we are all psychics and we are all mediums. Um, my mother's aunt, right, which is my grand aunt, she was actually a, a big Haitian priestess um, or whatnot. So every time, like, like what she would do is she would connect with the spirit realm or whatnot. And every time she would connect with the spirit realm, she would ask the spirit realm for numbers, lottery numbers. And they will give it to her. And that's the way she lived throughout her life by playing lottery numbers, buying houses, you know, supporting her family and things of that nature. So like with me um, coming from a Haitian upbringing, uh, this was a natural way of living for us, connecting with the ancestral realm, believing in our dreams. You know what I'm saying? Because you have some parents that, when a child comes to them and be like, yo, mommy, I had a dream of such a, man, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they right. downsided, they degrade the dream that this child has came to them to report. And right. that in a sense starts to shut their, the part of the brain dealing with that imagination and or spirituality, but not in my case. In my case, growing up Haitian, we mm. honor the ancestral realm we put out altars and things of that nature to connect to the spirit realm you understand and um in my situation i'm a psychic medium i am also a psychic but i don't promote that but i am a medium so what i do is i channel or i connect with loved ones from the other side that might have crossed over or whatnot and I deliver the whatever message it is that they have to my guests. I'm also able to connect with um, spirit guides, right? And I'm also able to connect or look into your past life, which is called retrocognitive. That's what that particular psychic is called, a retrocognitive psychic, which is someone that is able to tap into your past life and see things that you don't know about from before you was even born. And what that particular psychic do is they tell you about your past life, which they connect why you're having these particular problems or these particular issues now on like in your lifetime. Now I do that as well. So there's mm -hmm. many different types of mediums or whatever right they have the clairvoyance they have the clear audience they have the sent the the one that um you sense spirits right, right. um you have the precognitives where you are able to see in the future which me as well right when you, you like first of all we all psychics like mm -hmm. when when we get that gut feeling that is oh, yeah. the spirit in us that's telling us yo something about to come up but because we are so clogged up we're not connecting with that spirit of ours that's telling us something's about to go down you feel me and mm -hmm. so there are different types of way there's different types of ways to connect with spirit realm me more so i'm clairvoyance where i see spirit i mean clairvoyance where i um i can see objects see spirits you know, you said ghosts, but I don't believe in ghosts. You know what I'm saying? Because the spirit never dies. But like, I, I can see your ancestors. I can see your grandmother if she chooses to come through my portal. Because one thing you have to also know dealing with mediumship, psychic mediumship, is that like every spirit is not going to want to come down to your portal. You feel me? Like I can sometimes I would channel, I would channel somebody's uncle or whatever. Yeah, I feel his spirit, but he's not really coming through all the way because he's probably like, nah, I don't even want to come through. Why? Because he might have lived a religious life, you know what I'm saying? On on planet Earth. He might have, so he's probably still his spirit is still living that uh, how can you say that that cosmic contract where yeah. 
that shit is too, no, that's spookism. Why should I go down there? So like, again, it really depends on who wants to come through the portal is the way where I'm able to connect. So when you say the spirits coming through your portal, portal, do they come through like a, do they come through like a certain organ, a certain chakra, your aura? Where do they come at when they come through your portal? When I, when, when I, when I'm on the phone, you know, I just feel them. I just hear them. They say, Hey, my name is such and such. I'm here. You know what I mean? If once I'm on the phone with a loved one and say, for example, somebody's mother on the other side, she going to come through cause she going to want to speak to her daughter. You feel me? So I would tell the client, like I, I feel the mother spirit coming through, or I feel a great grandmama spirit coming through. She's telling me X, Y, A, 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 and the client will say or you know the customer the client will say oh yeah that's my mother you know because i'm describing who this person is that is coming through and sometimes we also have to understand that the way we look now is not going to be the way we look when we cross over on the other side so what would you describe our appearance on the other side as what would you describe that as well, um, some people come like animals, you know yeah. what I mean? Like one second, I got seven, five, you know, what is it? Seven. Some people come like animals. Some people come like, like themselves, you know what I'm saying? Like humans. Right. Um, and for the most part in my experience, that's what I've experienced when I've connected with someone, you know, a loved one on the other side, they will come as an animal. Um, they will come like, like a animal totem. That's what it is. Yeah. Like an animal totem, like a cat energy or a crocodile energy or a bird energy or a dove, you know, like I'm like, I'm seeing doves. I'm seeing this, I'm seeing that. And then they will transform as I continue to channel, they start getting comfortable with me so now they showing themselves even more because that's one thing also like we have to overstand like spirits got to test you out too don't nobody just want to come to you just because you channeling or whatever they gotta feel your aura too but because me i'm channeling like on a positive level and my 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 pipeline is clean you know what I'm saying? That there's no animosity or anything of that nature. And what I mean by that is that my heart chakra is good. I don't got baby daddy issues. I don't got money issues. I ain't got children issues. I don't got self-love issues. So my heart chakra is all right. Dope, you dope. know? And so the spirit realm, oh, I fuck with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they will come to me. So let me ask you this. How do you know you've made contact with someone's loved one and not an imposter spirit? Somebody mm -hmm. pretending to be that loved one. No, because I will, I would describe them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I would say, for example, somebody coming through, like someone will come through with somebody's coming through right now. I don't even know who this is, but like there was a church person going and, um, they was buried in purple or whatnot, like a purple. It feel like somebody's grandmother, great grandmother, or whatever. But some, I'm seeing a spirit right now where they have on like a purple hat and like that that old lady, like purple garment, like church like garment. So this person was like a ongoing church person that is coming through my vessel as of right now. So like I said. Mm -hmm. I know that for sure that that's not somebody imposter. So when right. my antennas and stuff is open, whoever comes through, like I said, I would describe them to the client. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Now I know, I know you, I'm just curious. Now I know you have yeah. um, sons. Is this yeah. something, this psychic ability, this medium ability, does it get specifically passed down to the woman or do the males in your bloodline receive this ability as well? Well, I'm going to tell you like this. Prince Unique, my firstborn, uh, how old is he now? Um, four. He says, Mommy, I had dreams. 
You know what mm-hmm. I mean? He's coming to me telling me, mommy, I had dreams. So I'm like, what is it? He's like, I don't know. I had dreams and I'm happy. I'm happy. And before I want to share this before, I don't know if this happened with you, but before my sons was even conceived, a lot of my clients dreamt them. Yo, Mama Ella, emailing me, Mama Ella, I dreamt that you had a baby. I dreamt mm-hmm. that you had da da da. I dreamt like so, like they was they was already in a wave to right. con- to be conceived on planet Earth. So, do you <laughs> not consider that to be a spiritual thing? Right, no, indeed. For you real? know, I, I I said this story before. What's interesting is how it happened for me. Mm. Um, when I used to meditate, like I meditate a lot with music, I'd be having my headphones on and I zone out. And I remember one time I, I was meditating. I remember that me and Ken Bada was, uh, we was working on an album. I think it was Holy Ghost 2. I'm not sure what it was. We was working on music. No, this is Holy Ghost 1. Uh-huh. And um, I'm, I'm in, you know, I do my visualization. I'm getting in my zone. I'm, I'm, I'm visual. And then I just see there's this kid next to me. And I'm like, where the fuck this kid come from? And you I just, and I, yeah, I try to block it, right? Because I didn't realize it at first. I try to block. I'm like, well, where the fuck did it come from? And I just go on meditating again. Then, then I see a kid again. I'm like, hold up now. What is this kid popping up in my meditation and my visualization? Then boom, like a year later, I had serious. So I'm like, there you go. and I and I had dreams about him as well. I remember I had dreams. So yeah, I know exactly what you're talking right. about. And that's real, but that goes to show that, in my opinion. Kids, children choose their parents. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they already in the astral realm waiting for you to conceive them. Yeah. If you can really see them. Right, right. Like, right. even with Seven, I thought my last son, my last son named Seven. I thought Seven was going to be a girl. I didn't even want to know what I was having the second time. Mm. Like, Seven Moon is in Pisces. And um, sun sign Sagittarius, and my first one Sagittarius, but his moon is in Gemini. So that Gemini are the natural channelers. <clears throat> Pisces are the psychics of right. the zodiac sign, but mm-hmm. Gemini's are the natural channelers. People are like, oh, Gemini's are two faced. No, Gemini's are able to tap in between the physical realm and the spiritual realm. Those are the two dualities of Gemini's Mm. easy to, but you got to be, you know what I mean? You have to, you know, trust that gut feeling that Mm -hmm. gut, Mm -hmm. the first brain. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. Do you, um, do you go like in today's society, um, everybody goes to YouTube for information, TikTok for information. Um, when, when we came up with Bobby Hammond, we went to the books for information. Do you go to the spirit realm for information? Like people go to YouTube or the books or the TikTok? Is that how you acquire your information? You just, you skip YouTube, you skip what we are doing and you go straight to the spirit realm for it. Well, well, for me as a Pisces, everything come to me in my dreams. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I believe that everything that you want to see will be revealed you just should ask right this is the reason why certain you know like shamans or whatever they don't provide everybody with the knowledge right now you know what i'm saying like when we was growing up in the um brooklyn eras going to shabazz and them um lectures and stuff like that like we sat amongst the people and receive the information like a storytelling type of thing it was like youtube and all of that wasn't really that popular so like for me these are the kind of the type of situations or events that mold me like i don't go to like first of all i'm i'm better than 80 percent of psychics on youtube Uh oh and that's a fact Uh That's that New York shit talking. Uh oh. Listen, you already come on. Coming stop out. playing. Uh-oh. You already know. Stop playing. Uh-oh. You already know. Like, stop playing. Uh-oh. Then you say there's a lot of people on the on the chat, Team Ella. Stop playing. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, what's up? 
This is my confidence. This is my yes. confidence. And you oh, have yeah. to be confident. That's oh, yeah. that's the problem with some of people. Niggas ain't confident. How are you supposed to receive messages if you don't believe in what the messages are that your own spirit is telling you? Right. And that's what I'm saying. Like, we all are psychic. We all have that intuition. But we don't want to say it because most of us, you know, grew up in, you know, households, church households. Um, What is that? The people that knock on your door, evangelists or... um. Some niggas that knock on your door, or whatever. Um, Jehovah Witness. Jehovah Witness and all of that. <laughs> niggas grew up like that, so like you're not gonna trust in that. Um, you know that the solar plex, you know. But again, like now, now as the Earth, you remember when um Blair used to say the Earth is going from kindergarten to the eighth grade? I think we already in the twelfth grade right now. So oh. as the earth is ascending, Corona done told you that Corona done shifted the earth, rise and raise and raise the raise the vibration. Like if you're not raising in the frequency, then like you going, you're not going to understand how this spiritual or psychic medium ship works. What we uh, all psychic. What would you say? Because I know there's certain things for me that I know I have to stay away from. Mm. What would you say hurts your psychic or medium abilities that through your life experience, you know, I got to stay the F away from this because when I, if I engage in that, then I don't feel that connection to source or to the spirit realm that I usually have. Is there anything that you could say to teach people that, yo, this kind of hinders my abilities? Me personally, Yes. Brother Rich, on some real shit, like, it's in my blood. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So nothing really hinders me from not channeling. Like, I used to, I used to literally, I'd be on live, breastfeeding my baby, screaming at my man, and channeling at the same damn time. And that's real facts. If you go in my the archives of my videos, you can see that I am literally multitasking, channeling accurately, mm -hmm. you know? Um, however, however, if I'm drinking, if, if some wine or something like that, you know, I might be flowing a little longer than usual, but I'm still connecting to spirit realm, but I may not be that accurate because there's a little alcohol in the system, yeah. you know, but other than people or anything else like nobody ain't gonna shine me away from what's already within me genetically mm -hmm. like my mom's is literally psychic like people say haitian people are psychic by default or spiritual by default right because we won the haitian revolution and we did that from summoning you know the ancestral realm and th that's in our blood that's real talk you know what I'm saying? Like, that's really literally in our blood to honor and connect with the ancestral realm. Oh, yeah. That's our culture. So yeah. it's like, yo, what now? Nah, we it's not really nothing because this is what we know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. What um have has a spirit ever come to you angry and you had to turn the spirit away? Like, nah, I ain't. Like you tell a client, like, nah, this small effer came, and I'm like, I can't deal with that energy. First of all, I used to do work for people, right? Mm. I used to do work, like try to help them, you know, because like they somebody like they um wife uh or in-laws or mother will be throwing hexes, hex on them and stuff like that. So, like to clean their spirit, right? To clean them. So I used to help them to get clean. So when, as I'm helping them to get clean in my dreams, I would get attacked. I will wake up and I will have like scratches on me. And, and but mind you, in my spirit, I, I, I'm getting attacked. One time I was in a dream with panic long time ago. And I called him because, you know, me and panic, we know each other personally. And his sister Reese or whatever. She lived down the hall from me. My mom's crib. So, like, I'm hitting him up, like, yo, I had a dream that, I'm like, what the fuck is this? He was like, yo, 
you better control that shit. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because this attacking stuff is so then I had stopped helping people in the sense to get themselves clean, or I had stopped helping people to fight the hex that was thrown upon them because clearly that's not that's not my level right there. My level is just to connect, let you know, like, yeah, that motherfucker did that shit to you. This is what you can do. But now to go, it depends. If it's some heavy shit, nah, I'm not doing it. But if it's something like we grew up in that, we grew up in washing ourselves with leaves and babakut. You know what I mean? Haitian Haitian rum will soak, will soak traditional leaves, babakut, lemons and limes and stuff, and take a spiritual bath to to wipe to wash the negative spirit that has been cast upon you. So I know about that stuff. But when it's something heavy. Now nah, I ain't dealing with that. And I've experienced that on multiple levels where when in my dreams, they would attack me. I said, mm. nah, I ain't fucking mm. with this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this <Wow>. shit. <laughs> yo, yo, uh, speaking of panic, I just I just got his book. Oh, um, that's what's I just up. Got his book, so shout out to Panic. Um, I actually did a giveaway on my show yesterday and somebody won the book, a brother named Lance. So I got to mail it out to him this mm. weekend. But family, just to remind y'all, Panic's latest book is available on his website. Awesome book, y'all. Occultlectures.com. The name of the book is The Seven Laws of Dark Power, Volume 2, Self Master. So speaking of Panic, shout out to That's Panic. And time. shout out to, can't say shout out to Panic without saying shout out to Khadija. That's shout right. out to his wife, Khadija, for holding it down and doing what she do. That's uh, right. But but yeah, yeah. How's his sister Reese? Uh, Reese doing? How's she doing? She's she's, she's good. good. I actually, when was his birthday? Um, the twenty sixth. Uh, Panic's nephew' birthday right. was the twenty sixth, and I went and I helped her because you know I also do party planning <laughs> here in New York City. So if you're in New York City, you need a party planner, party decoration, and you just holla at your girl, you know, because I do it. Um, so I went and I helped her. She rented like ta a table for me. So I went and, right. you know, helped her set up and Dope. stuff. And she's, she's, she's good. You know, she's holding in there. The whole family, they're good. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. Has a spirit ever came to you that maybe has been romantically revolved, involved with you in a past life and they're looking to make contact with you and you like, and they're like, yo, I'm such and such. Like, yo, you don't you like, as that any, anything weird like that has ever happened or a spirit that maybe, you know, just said some weird shit to you that was connected to you in a past life. I want to tell you something. Uh -oh. All right. Um, Pac, Tupac. Tupac. I love Tupac. Right. I love Tupac. And early in my times when i was starting to channel tupac came to visit me a few times flirting more so like yeah. yes tupac right. that's how i know he's on the other side tupac wow. yes i couldn't believe it for myself that and was there a reason why he was flirting with you in particular what i'm telling you is that i liked him i like him you know what yes. i mean i i like tupac you get what I'm saying? And so I feel like because he probably feels like, yeah, here it is. Some chick that know how to channel between the spirit and the physical. Let me connect with her because she would know that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm Tupac, the person that I've always been with. And this is something similar to what you asked me in, term, in terms of a love thing. But it wasn't a love thing. It was just a flirtatious thing. It was just him presenting himself. And he's known to be flirtatious, but like it wasn't nothing no you sexual. Turn Pac down? Ella, you turn Pac down? I'm in the physical realm. I'm not having no sexual no, I'm stuff. Just <laughs> I'm, just I'm, I'm not having no I don't even know how that works. So I, I don't I wouldn't even know how that works. So I don't Listen, you know. Listen, it's to the point sometimes like. And it was it was another spirit too, but you know what? I think that that other spirit, I think that that other spirit, because I was channeling somebody's brother, they wouldn't leave me to fuck alone, and I had to walk. 
You know how some um Caribbean people be like, oh, when you um go into your house, walk backwards so that the spirits don't come into your home. I don't know if you ever heard that saying. Yeah, like a I lot heard. of Caribbean people be like, when you walk into your home, make sure you like walk backwards so that any negative or any spirits that you do not want in your home, they can leave. Mm -hmm. I had to start doing that shit. Because it was it was like a it was this male energy that kept coming to me or whatever. And then I went to my this other chick. What's her name? Oh, she was some Nigerian chick. And I told her, and we was in um on 59th Street, you know, um Whole Foods right there on 59th Street. And Big she one, she she deal with um Yoruba and shit like that. Like I don't deal with like Yoruba and stuff like I, I'm straight spirit connection, but I don't deal with like you know Yoruba or whatever. But like she deals with Yoruba and she was doing a card reading, and I was telling her, like, yo, I got this male spirit that is attached to me, like I feel him. Like, right. and she said some prayer and on some real shit. I ain't feel that spirit no more. Ooh. Like, I don't know. She's she she said some prayer, but I was feeling like yo, we're like we're it had it had to be from me channeling. It had to be from me being in the spiritual realm for him to even connect with me. And you know, like sometimes when I channel for people, other people say that they feel spirits having sex with them. Mm -hmm. Like they tell me that, and I'd be like, "Yo, you need to sage your crib. You need to burn." Um, red and black candles, you know, depending on the situation, you know, if they're aggressive, this is what you need to do. Um, you know, open up your windows, X, Y, A, A, A. If you feel comfortable with them, then that's on you, you know what I mean? But like, there is multiple people that had have that experience of spirits from the other side touching them, fondling them, all types of shit. Wow. All right, so so being a psychic medium, you know, sometimes like just to give you an, an example, um, people do things collectively to generate more power. Have you ever gathered with other sisters, whoever, to generate more psychic power to try to channel or try to get something or try to manifest something? Like, have you ever done like a group channeling or a group medium session with other psychic channelers? Have you ever done that? No, I have, but I would love to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I haven't, but mm -hmm. I, I would love to do that. That'd be some. You know what I'm saying, kid. like I, I personally did circles. I did circles out here. Mm -hmm. I did. Kafuna was doing the sound bowls in one of them. I did circles out here. I did circles in LA. I did a small circle in Georgia. Yeah. Um, yeah, in those three spots, I, I've mm -hmm. done it. You know, by myself. And mm -hmm. I would love to do that with other mediums. Right. You know? Yeah, that'd, that'd be powerful. Yeah. What's your thoughts, Mama Ella, on, uh, you know, we both have young children. The idea of children having imaginary friends. Have you ever had to chase an imaginary friend away? Or does your son ever mention imaginary friends? And you're like, oh, okay, well, what's his name? Or what's her name? What's your thoughts on that? Not, not, um, not yet. But uh -huh. like, if that's their imagination, then uh -huh. why shut that down? If your child is coming to you and telling you that they see they see something, right? So uh -huh. that's just like if I'm channeling, and I say, "Yo, I see the spirit." You telling me, "No, I don't," and I'm telling you, I see spirits. You know what I mean? Like, so uh -huh. you are doubting the fact that your child has this imagination and or can see the spirit realm because there is two sacred people on this planet. You have the elders and you have the babies. Dumb the two motherfuckers that can see spirits very well and got that, got that juice. So for me or even for, for parents to neglect the fact that your child has this imagination, imaginary, well, right. I'm, I'm not. I'm not talking about neglect. What I'm talking about is if he says he has an imaginary friend, you may tap into that energy of that friend and may not be too fond of the energy of that particular 
imaginary friend. That's what I'm talking I about. I feel like I feel like because children's energies are positive, especially mm. now that the earth is going into um a a level of balance, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like planet Earth, uh, we're going into this balance, the union between masculine and feminine. So if that was to happen, I feel like that spirit that is coming to them is um is positive. Mm -hmm. And if it's not positive, your child will tell you that something happened to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm not chasing nobody away because mm -hmm. this child came here from another planet or another dimension. And this child also like you and me have spirit guides so what i'm gonna do tell the spirit guys they gotta go yeah. you feel what i'm saying tell the imaginary friend because they can see spirits too right, 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 right. like like my okay so my father is right now my father is in france their father's father deceased he's told me that he speaks to his grandfather mm -hmm. you you speak to your grandfather and for me it's like no you don't you don't speak to your grandfather because your grand but i forgot that there's another grandfather that is on the other side as well so i'm going to allow my son to develop what this relationship thing is that he's speaking about that it's his grandfather because this is what he's telling me right mm. let it develop yeah yeah we haitian we 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 cast spirits away so it don't, it doesn't bother me. You know what I mean? What um what advice? Uh, you know, I've 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 come across a lot of um psychics and just people who have abilities and tapped into the spirit realm who one of their main problems is them finding a mate or them not being around having a lot of friends. They seem to live a lonely life, they don't have a lot of friends or they don't have a mate. What advice would you give to psychics or the people who are tapped into spiritual abilities who, because of that, they may not have a lot of friends or they may have problems finding a mate? What would your advice be to them? Well, perhaps, I mean, that's what you sign. That's the, that's the contract that you sign. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. or well, you cold blooded. it may though. not be. I'm sorry. I said you cold blooded. You're going to tell them that that's what you signed up for. We all we all have so we all signed a soul contract. Let's get this let's not get this twisted. We all signed a soul contract. Perhaps you have to be celibate for the six years that you are celibate right now. You get what I'm saying? So if you if you say you spiritual, if you you need to create that reality for yourself, or you need to start the imagination to see yourself in. A, a loving relationship first of all you need to see yourself in a re loving relationship with your damn self first mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you attract you get what i'm saying this this other partner this balance the other person that you want to mesh with that's one mm -hmm. of the things like just because you psychic and just because you a medium that shit don't really mean that because listen listen i be in a hood you see me in the hood in on in Harlem over there on 112 with my man. He was wild and we was having a good time. Like just because we we not all psychic mediums is kumbaya and, and living a righteous life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So, so so like get get right within. I, I would say, like, yo, perhaps you need to, you know what I mean, start doing the shadow work, get right within. Perhaps, you know, the soul contract that you sign requires you to be celibate for the six years or the five years right now. Look at it, you know, look at the bigger picture. Probably you need to do a little bit of more shadow work. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to keep attracting the same mate that you broke up from. Are you still hurt? Is the wound still healing? Because if the wound still healing, you need to let it heal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You feel right. me? If your heart is still hurting, you need to let it heal. Right. It like oh, because you spiritual, because you a psychic. Oh, what? Like what? We psychic mediums. We need love too, and we need to do some shadow work too. We just got this gift, 
Everybody mm -hmm. got skills. Mm -hmm. Everybody got talents. Mm -hmm. You know, we um we're talking about you commu communicating with spirits and spirits communicating with you. Does yes. different parts of your body ever communicate with you because you have psychic abilities? You may be more in tune mm -hmm. with certain organs of your body. And you student of Dr. Africa, Dr. Savy, your heart, your liver, your kidneys, your legs. Like, do these organs talk to you? And like before you have a problem and you're like, oh shit, I gotta work on this because I just got a message from this part of my body. Does that happen? Oh, not necessarily that, but like sometimes when I channel and somebody is going through like, like communication problems and issues, my mm. throat chakra starts to get heavy. Mm. You hear what I'm saying? Like, yo, my throat chakra is getting heavy and that's because you need to X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when they've been suffering from um, stomach pains and stuff like that, I'm like, yo, I'm feeling a sharp pain in my stomach. You need to go check that out. So mm. if, 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 if a sister just the other day, was it the my last live? It probably was my last live where I was like, yo, check out your womb. I'm feeling some pains in my womb. Mm. So I'm picking up on your energy. You mm. feel me? And I'm telling, and that's what I'm saying. And I'm like, and I know it ain't me because I know my body. My cycle come on time all the time. Like, mm -hmm. you feel me? So mm. like, I know that because I'm picking up on your energy, this is what it is. And they, in fact, let me know like yeah you know i have been depressed i am going through this i am going i just had a miscarriage i just had an abortion stuff like that but with me per se it doesn't it like my personal experience with it it doesn't work like that with me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no indeed indeed this is this is a very very interesting conversation i'm glad you're here with us tonight shout out to everybody in the chat by the way we got about 1800 people in the chat uh, let me ask you this. Uh -huh. Do you find that, you know, they say energy is contagious and this is in your bloodline, you're saying. Uh -huh. Now, you have a mate. Now, do you find that, you know, being with your mate, I've been with my, my mate for a very long time. Do you ever find that your psychic abilities, because you may be romantically, you're hugging, you're sleeping in the same bed, whatever, whatever, does it rub off on him and he come and surprise you with some shit because he done been around your energy for so long? That Has that ever happened? Well, he's an Aquarius, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I feel, I find that, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you an example, but he's an Aquarius and he's, he's a, he's a, he's, he's a person that you would consider like an intelligent thug. Like mm -hmm. he's hood, but he's very intelligent. And like his intuition is on point. When I tell you his intuition is on point, but guess what? When I tell him like, that's your psychic ability, that's your spirit telling you these things. Nah, yo, that's just a gut feeling that I had. So my nigga, what you mean? Like, what do you think a gut feeling is? That is your spirit telling you. When he got fired from a job, right? Hear me yeah. out. Yes. He had got fired from his, not this job that he worked at, the previous job before even Corona or whatever. <clears throat> he was like, yo, I feel, I'm, I, I have this, I have this feeling, man. I'm, 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 I have this feeling like something ain't right. Like I'm gonna go into work today, but I just feel, I'm just feeling like something is not right. Something is up. So when he goes into work, uh, they tell him like, yo, I like today's your last day. Basically like you fired. So he's like, well, what the, you know, he spazzed now, whatever. So then when he calls me to tell me, I'm like, yeah, that was your spirit or your psychicness. Remember when I said precognitive, like that's basically what it is when you can predict or you feel something is going to happen in the future. Mm -hmm. That's a, a form of your psychic ability. Like having mm -hmm. that gut feeling, that deja vu. So mm -hmm. not more so like sleeping in a bed and things rubbing off, but like him in a sense also being intuitive, but not claiming it. Mm -hmm. And me as a medium, <clears throat> as somebody who grew up, hold on, <clears throat> grew up in this way, hold on. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
as somebody that grew up in this way, I, I point I point things out to him. You know what I'm saying? Like I basically just point things out to him to let him know, like, yeah, that's you being aware of this, or your kundalini is rising, or you know what I mean? That type of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seven, relax, please. Relax. You need to go to sleep. Mommy duties. And you know I homeschool these boys too, right? I uh, know I did not know that. that. That's that's dope. I did not know that. that homeschool then, you know, all all of that. Excellent. Relax. Excellent. Well, we, 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 we ain't gonna be too much longer, Ella. I know you gotta give back to mommy duties. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hold yeah. on, hold on. Seven, just chill out. Just relax. Yeah. Seven is tired. He needs to. Be, he needs to be in yeah. bed, though. Uh, my apologies. Yeah. No, it's all good. I, I know. Yeah. Hey. You know, I know how it is. I know. Ones. I know exactly how it is. Let me just ask you one more question, Ella, before sure. we get out of here. And before I ask that question, you're actually going to be in Brooklyn this weekend, right? We are. You know. Um. Thanks for bringing that up. We are going to be. Shh, shh, shh. <clears throat> We are going to be in, shh, hold on, so what's up? All right, go ahead. So we are going to be, I'm going to be in Brooklyn on Saturday, um, the 13th, alongside King Sign. Hold on, hold on. Everybody that got children understand this. Oh, yeah, a, th a thousand percent, I get it. Let me, Seven, um. Let me okay, just relax, all right? Okay. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be in Brooklyn. I'm going to bring him out. One Let second. me show this, Ella. Get, take care of what you got to take care I'm going to yeah. show this on the screen. Ahead, All right, family. So Ella, Mama Ella is going to be in Brooklyn this Saturday, April 13th at Nicholas Brooklyn Bookstore. Shout out to Monique. That's the sister who owns the bookstore. Shout out to Kafunia for having these, um, these lectures happening at uh, Nicholas Brooklyn. And it's also it's going to feature um, King Simon and Ma Bowman. Uh, it says here, Hank Rising Sun is going to be there, the mad scientist, and Mama Ella, the spiritual medium. Shout out to Hank. You know, uh, our brother Hank. You know how he get down. But, yeah, this is going down Sunday, April 4th, 2024, from 4 to 8. For more yes. information, you can contact 4400 and I think is are these, are these people gonna be here too? Dr. Shakira Shakira Moore, shout out yes. to um, Dr. Shakira Moore, Lloyd yes. Strayhorn, uh Adara Moselle. Yes. I think that's the sister's name. But yes. wow, this is gonna be She's a great a tantra. She she do tantra and stuff like that. I've been on several lives with her, you know, the previous week or right. so promoting the the event. So, you know, for those of you that are in New York City and you want to get a mini reading from me as well, you know what I mean? Come down. You want to feel my energy. Check me out. Talk to me. Shake my hand. Come on down. King Simon is going to be in the building. So y'all already know it's going to be hype. And then we have um, my eye. And you know, my eye don't usually step out. And she is the originator of, you know, Dr. Sabi's foundation. And right. so we're going to be talking about health. We're going to be talking about spirituality. We have um, Sister Kafunia with the singing bowls. You got yep. Uncle Hanky with his um, her ko koala tea with the blue <laughs> lotus and all of this and oh, magical yeah. stuff he got going on. Oh, yeah. You feel oh, yeah. me? <laughs> so, you know, uh, Saturday, uh, this Saturday, a April 13, master number 13, it is going down. Then on, you know, on the 14th, you have our beloved brother, Lloyd Strayhorn, that's going to be doing a numerology reading. So you already know that's going to be nice. So this weekend at Nicholas Brooklyn, is going to be phenomenal and on top of that you know we celebrate in 50 years of the business being open that's older than me and you mm. so like this is, wow. this is this is this is a good thing you know like like nicholas brooklyn been in like for a very very long time remember remember when it was right on fulton street yeah I used to work right around there. I was I used to work down the block. Down the block. First of all, first of all, I bought my first Phil Valentine DVD from you. Oh, I, wow, ain't that something? Wow. 
Wow. I brought my first Phil Valentine DVD from you. I think it was like on some time. It was Tantra sex or something like that. Yeah. Like yeah. I brought my, like that spot, that, that, when I used to be going down there, I, it's interesting. It's just Harlem and Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> no, indeed, indeed. Wow. Remember, so yeah. Remember when you never used to show your, show your face? Yeah. I was behind the camera for a long time. I, 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 I have no interest. I never had no interest in being on camera. I just like asking questions. But when um, 2020 and Corona hit and all that, you know, shit's changed up and everybody started live streaming. So that's what made me um, come in front of the camera when, yeah, I started doing the, the live streaming. But besides that, I have no interest with the, you know, with the, right. with the fame or anything. I just want to handle my business. That's my right. main objective, handle my business. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you this. The last question before we get out of here. Yes. I remember listening to Panic Talk um and panic talking about the panic pack and how mm. i think his friend uh who was in the spirit realm gave him the idea for the panic mm. pack i believe what has a spirit ever came to you and just given you a crazy ass business idea or invention or something like that like i like because i know a lot of people would love to contact the spirit realm just to get some ideas to create some amazing things down here so has that ever happened to you? Yes. Um, not necessarily uh remedies in a sense, but yeah. ways to open things up for me. That okay. has happened for me in the okay. when rather when I was dreaming. Because remember, everything for me comes in the dream world. And that's basically your your spirit talking to your physical self. You know what I mean? If <laughs> some people can't even um remember their dreams, so like to dream and to remember your dream is big. So right. like I would dream about, you know what I'm saying? Like certain like stuff that I'm doing, like the spirit, like I would see myself putting together like flowers and lighting up these candles. And then when I wake up, oh, that's what spirit is trying to tell me to do because I understand the, the situation that I'm in now. So right. that right there is the solution to opening up the gateways for me to go through and mm. receive my abundance. And another thing is a lot of people do not trust their dreams, which is so, so fucking stupid. Because if you believe the dream world is the real world, as Dr. Blair would say, the dream and me too, because I'm a Pisces. So I believe and I call heartily. I don't like this physical world is an illusion. The dream world, if you cannot master not even not even having to say like master but if you don't trust in what the dream your dreams is telling you even if they feel off that means that your physical body of what not probably you might have ate late you know what i mean like something of that nature like if the dreams is off still pay attention to it pay money or whatever mm -hmm. pay <clears throat> attention mm -hmm. to your dreams mm -hmm. it's your higher self mm -hmm. giving you messages to live or to a go by in the physical realm. It starts mm. from spirit, then physical. Mm. Amazing, amazing. Well, listen, I, I want you to get back to mommy duties. I know how that yes. how that go with the little ones. Before Seven. you get out of here, leave your contact information for anybody who is interested in okay. getting a reading from you. Yes. And again, you know, um, you know, thank you for reaching out to me, you know, um, to be on your platform, you know, um, Instagram done canceled my original, my original platform. So now I'm building, you know, my I was platform. Wondering why I didn't see you. I don't, I didn't see you no more on Instagram. That's why they got rid of it, huh? Yeah. They been got rid of me. Yeah. You know how much information I was blasting on their ass? Yeah. That's why I'm on Instagram. That's my Instagram. Your underscore majesty 13. Okay. okay. That's my Instagram or whatnot. So you want to connect with me on Instagram. It is your underscore majesty 13. I also have a YouTube uh, channel that I'm starting to build up myself, which is Ella Samori, E-L-L-A, as you see, last name Samori, um, S-A-M-O-R-Y. Also, you know, my website where you can get all natural herbs from the island of Jamaica. You know that, right? I sell herbs from Jamaica. I have right. some, I have sea moss. I have guinea hen's weed. You know what I'm saying? I have moringa. I have a lot of <clears throat> natural 
herbs that you can purchase to just basically get your body right. Like, and in a sense, you got to start from small. Don't try to become a vegan overnight because it's not going to work. Little by little, start with some sea moss. You know what I'm saying? Like, start with just cleansing the body with salsa perility every day. You know, mm-hmm. take it easy on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. So if you're looking for some all natural herbs from the island of Jamaica, you want to cl- you want to visit my website www.samorisherbs.com. Okay, so that's s a m o r y s herbs.com. And my business partner is the famous reggae artist uh Jacure. That's his mother. Mm. Like that's my business partner. So she lives and breathes agriculture Indeed. and sea moss. Like that's her upbringing. You know what I mean? She's an elder. She's honest. She always send me the herbs. You know what I'm saying? Like right now it's a little slow with um, customs and things because they, you know, they starting to scrutinize stuff a little too long. So my packages have been coming in a little slow, but okay. if you are looking for that real deal, cause I've been supplying CMOS for what, like since 2016 mm-hmm. to the people. You know what I mean? That's what? That's almost that's almost 10 years. That's eight years now. Yeah. 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 So, mm-hmm. like, you know, if you want to um, you know, uh get you some good stuff to get your mind and your body right, go ahead. And I also do natal chart readings. I don't promote that. I also do natal chart readings. You know what I mean? And na- and natal chart reading is basically like your the blueprint of your life. It is a snapshot of where all of the planets were sitting in the particular houses when you were born. So it is a unique blueprint for yourself. A natal chart basically tells you your strengths, your weaknesses, highs and lows what to look out for what to not look out for i mean not 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 to look out for but like basically to give you an awareness of the things that you will do good in and the things where you are having trouble in a natal chart reading is very precise the first person that did a natal chart reading for me was sister myra l Mm. and that was like i don't even know long time ago and ever since then I started studying that. I was like, I like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Pisces. I'm into this. Like, and I teach natal chart classes as well. Mm-hmm. Dope. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. Shout out to Sister Myra. I got a, I got my reading from her in 2005. So she's been on point oh, a very long time. Yeah, 2005. Yeah. It, it, I, I always remember because of the date. It was five five. 05. So it was it was May 5th, 2005. I got it written on cassette tape. She used to give her cassette tape. Cassette. Like that. Yes, she did. Yes, yes so she did. Five, five, yeah. With her voice. Yup. Yes, oh, yeah, she yeah. did. <laughs> shout out yeah. to Sister Myra. Listen, I want to give a shout out to everybody watching tonight. Uh, a great, great episode. Make sure you hit yes. the sister up. And if you're in New, you're in New oh, York, email my email too. Oh, if you want to email me, um, it's um Samori's Healing at gmail.com. S A M O R Y healing H E A L I N G at gmail.com. If you want to schedule a reading with me or you know, natal chart reading or whatnot, you know, email me. And again, brothers and sisters, come on down. And I think they're doing live stream for, for the show. Okay. Yeah, they yep. live streaming this weekend's show. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, hit up that information on the fly I shown, and uh, I'm sure you could get information about the live stream if you are interested in it. But I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Mama Ella, I want to thank you for coming on the platform, holding it down, doing your thing. I'm sure a lot thank of people you. are going to holler at you. And on that note, this is Brother Rich, Black Magic 363, and I'm signing out, family. See you Peace. next time. Peace, family. Yes.